Hey, my name is Tucker Krause and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some more uranium companies. Well, same ones I've already looked at, but doing, you know, another uranium stock update here. I've decided to make this into a monthly series just so we can consistently see how these companies rank up to each other. And let's see, okay, does this company look good right now? Does this look good since I don't know anything about TA? This is as close as I can get to any sort of timing. All right, guys, but I would like to learn TA in the future. That's the goal. Oh, my light beside me just went off and now uh, it it's dead so that's that's sick but you know what i think i'll be fine without it so let's get into the video denison mines with a market cap of 1.2 billion dollars your uec at 982 million dollars global atomic at 512 million dollars boss energy at 499 million dollars fission uranium at 453 million dollars lotus resources at 275 million dollars betterman energy at 272 million dollars Govix Uranium at $182 million, Peninsula Energy at $159 million, UEX at $157 million, Forces Metals at $143 million, and all the way down there, our newest competitor, Blue Sky Uranium, the only new competitor for this one, actually, at $29 million. That is a lot of million dollars, I just had to say it right there. And for Boss Energy, the massive jump in share price from here last time is no, they have not gone up over 10x since last month. They did an 8 to 1 reverse stock split and their fell value has been updated accordingly. It makes sense that they're, because stocks always, you know, look scary when they're, you know, just cents. You know, we see here 16 cents, 16 cents, 22 cents. Th those stocks look scary. It gives them a bit more credibility in a way to the average investor saying that share price is a little bit higher. Makes them look a little bit, you know, less volatile and things like that. Now, of course, if you are watching and you are not currently subscribed, please do subscribe to help me grow the channel and so more people can hear about this uranium bull market and perhaps through me can then go hear about it, go do their own research, of course. Do not take this as financial advice, do your own research, all that kind of thing. Again, if you're not currently subscribed, please subscribe just a second out of your day. I'll start rattling on about that now, though. Let's get into the video. So looking at price per pound here, we see GoVX. Really, none of these places have changed all too much. They're mainly in about the same ranking as they were last time. We see GoVX Uranium here, first place at 90 cents. Force Metal at $1.14. Blue Sky Uranium, very, very good here. $1.30 for being the new kid on the block here. Just barely beating out Bannerman Energy at $1.30 per share as well. Then we see UEX at $1.59 per share, Global Atomic at $2.05 per share, Peninsula Energy at just about 3 bucks per share. After that, it gets pretty bad with Fission Uranium at $5.60, $6.30 for Lotus Resources, $7 bucks for Boss Energy, $8.12 for Denison, and $9.54 for UEC. But we have pulled back since the last time I did an update, so these values for the most part are lower than what they were last time, so that's of course good. But in general, a lot of these companies... Uh, starting at about fission uranium are very high but the rest of these aren't too bad especially govx forces blue sky and bannerman here looking at their fair value all these fair values eighty dollars spot price with 50 percent capex and opex inflation alongside a 10 percent discount rate first place our new guy on the block blue sky uranium insane here 351 percent upside that makes sense because you know they're so tiny with a full development project not just explorations since it's funny because there are explorers out there with a market cap well over double blue sky uraniums but blue sky uranium has a full development project but we keep going here we see fission uranium in second place followed by peninsula energy just barely then we see denison here followed by fortress metals and global atomic then we get to the companies that look overvalued with govx uranium lotus resources boss energy uec bannerman and uex with UEX Bannerman UEX looking especially overvalued but of course there's a lot more to it than just the DCF fair value so of course I recommend you guys go check out all the other videos that I've done on these companies do hear some of the more intricate parts about them like Fission Uranium for example they do really good here but they're not going to get into production until the 2030s whereas you look at say Boss Energy their DCF isn't the best here but they can get into production like immediately. Now onto the total score here we actually see Blue Sky came soaring out of nowhere right into first place here followed by our old first place forces metals now fall into second place govx uranium in third with peninsula energy in fourth fission uranium in fifth and the reason i did that is because they were pretty much equal in the dcf as we saw there for peninsula's dollar per pound was far far better so i've decided to rank them a little bit higher then we have global atomic then we have denison mines and bannerman energy denison did better in the dcf by a good bit so we're going to place it ahead. Same thing, Lotus did a good bit better than UE UEX when it came to the DCF, so it gets ahead again. Then we see down in 11th place, Boss Energy, and UEC 12th place. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That was just my quick little update for the month. Let me know what companies, again, you would like to add to this list I would and want me to do a full video on. And make sure to, again, if you're interested in any of these companies, go watch my videos on them to hear about them more in depth. And then after that, of course, do your own research, all that kind of thing. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.